Well, it's about 5 o'clock in the afternoon on the 12th of uh, July. And we're off uh, on another ride. A little bit later today, I was waiting for delivery. Came in uh, just a few minutes ago, so I'm off. Well, it's happening to Lionel and what sort of happened to a lot of people is they begin to realize what postmodernism is. And that we've gone in terms of a spectrum from a sort of a Darwinistic type of Marxism or, or communism, which Marx was to a certain degree, to a full on uh, postmodern uh, spectrum, postmodern uh, type of uh, communism where there is no reality. Reality is doesn't exist. It's everything simply a concept. And, and the thing is, it, 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 why aren't the courts the, uh, and the other people doing anything? It's because they don't know how to deal with it. If nothing matters, if there's no reality, then there's nothing that's going to stop these people because you, you, you can say, it doesn't matter what you, they say, what you say or do, they don't care. Because everything, nothing is real. Everything is simply a concept. In other words, you have a conceptual life. You have a conceptual reality. Where, well, where nothing is real. Everything is a concept. And the problem is, you really can't live like this because there's no standards. Well, you can live. You just you know, what happens? You realize that society is fundamentally broken down, and you're not going to get anything more significant than that. not going to improve, you're not going to have something better or, or anything like that, because it's always simply a concept, because there's no reality, and this is what, what the universities are breaking down, this is why you're, they're attacking uh, the school system, so they don't want any uh, distinction between good and bad or whatever, it's always about this so-called virtual signaling of... Uh, that the liberals continue always have been doing. They don't consider a reality. They simply consider what's good for them and that's it. But the thing is, this is actually well, well within Voltaire. This is within the, the, the concepts that he brought forward on hedonism. That hedonism was simply a concept where good and evil were simply a matter of choice and whatever you felt good to you was good, and whatever felt bad was bad. And that was the extent of the whole so-called moral theory. It was relative to the individual person. And this is where it gets Lionel in a little bit of hot water uh, because of his contradictions. If you believe in moral relativity, then you cannot say that when someone attacks a child that they're wrong. And this is what we're seeing today. What we're seeing today is a postmodernist world where nothing matters. And it's destroyed the court system. Right now, there is no real United States. There is a conceptual United States. The United States is whatever you want it to be. Reality doesn't matter. History doesn't matter. They're getting rid of everything. In other words, I was talking to my parents about this. Now you understand why they, they support the Sunni Muslims. Because the Sunni Muslims are the same way. The reality is 
simply a concept. There's no, there is no fundamental reality. And so what happens? Everything exists within in, in Islam, according to uh, the Prophet Muhammad. And this is why you see them destroying statues and, and, and every other monument. Anything that is not Muslim is, is, or Islam is fundamentally destroyed. And it's part of their belief that there is no other reality other than Islam. They maintain and create this reality. And they live, live within the reality. Now the Shia are different. That the Shia existed long before there was Islam. Um, uh, they were, in fact, if you want to understand how old they are, they go all the way back to Christ. They're the Persians. They were the three wise men, the three magi. That's who the Shia are. And this is where it gets, gets into the revolution, is the, the term communism. You need to talk about what type of communism. Because there's a type of communism, because you, you, you again go back to Voltaire, you go back to the French Revolution to sort of give yourself a, a standard or a type. And you begin to realize there's a lot of a lot of sort of room for understanding there. Because if you look at the French Revolution, the Fre French Revolution started and it ended up with the king, the emperor, and Napoleon. So there was a lot of there was a lot of uh, how would you say this? A lot of misunderstanding in, in terms of what the French Revolution was because the people couldn't get, couldn't get away from the monarchy. They just ended up with another monarchy. And then this is what they were writing about in the American Constitution, is that they need to be careful, and this is what the Second Amendment is about. It's about preventing a second monarchy. Whenever, with every revolution, there's always counter-revolutions. So we get the, the, the Communist Revolution, particularly in Russia. What you see is you see Lenin first take over. He calls himself a communist. Then communist, then, then Trotsky takes over from Lenin. He knocks out from Lenin. And then the second, the third kind of revolution was Stalin taking out Trotsky. They all started off together. And you'll have different groups who go down to any of these universities where you see these uh, groups, sort of these communist groups. They're all at odds with each other. They don't have the same ideas. There's a sort of general commonality, but the reality of having a common, a common view is not reality. When Lionel says he knows communists, and we're using the term communist wrong, there is no right way of using the term communist. It's whatever you want it to be. This is part of that, this nature of, uh, of socialism, is that it's anything you want it to be. It's, it's your own concept, your own reality. So if you reject somebody else's reality and want to call yourself communist, you can do that. You don't create your own reality. That's communism. Communism is about, the thing of socialism is about creating your own reality. Now this is convenient for people who want to rule as an emperor, because you just simply convince people that the, 
there's always a need for a revolution. That you'll take care of them. Right? This is uh, the line of the Democrats. Oh, don't worry, we're going to take care of you. I would appreciate a definition of what do you mean, take care of us? <laughs> because the mob had, had, a, had a definition of taking care of you. They killed you. <laughs> oh, i got to take care of this guy here. Uh, pretty soon you know, uh, Nemo was sleeping with the fishes. Definitions don't really apply frankly. in the evening it is uh, 21 hours into the day thereabouts and we're going to continue our discussion on the consequences of what's occurring and we're doing this from the perspective of uh, a Lionel Nation of Lionel LeBron not LeBron of Lionel Nation I should say uh, because he is a lawyer and lawyers use, do things in a very exact and specific manner. And that's because the, the courts were very specific about things. You had to be exact about things. Grammar mattered, spelling mattered, definitions mattered. But in a postmodernist world, everything is simply a concept. Nothing matters. And this is even kind of the course. Why aren't the Republicans doing anything? Because everything's a constant. There's nothing for them to do. And this is because the courts have accepted all this. So there's no way to go into the courts and, and argue a case because because a, a large chunk of the a large chunk of what's going on in the court system now is completely arbitrary. There is no justice in, in the American society. It's whatever somebody feels like it is. And so there's nothing to discuss. And people, just, with the amount of lying that's going on, people just sort of say, well, okay, well, that's all the case. I'm not going to listen to anything anymore. And that's what the, that's the sort of the attitude that's come about is the sort of this apathy. Because no one cares. And this lack of caring produces the, produces the apathy. who the judge has favor with, then there's no way to take these to courts. 
and what it is is, the, is, is, it a, is, it, is a complete collapse of the justice system because nothing is real. And this is what Lionel can't understand is that the consequence of postmodernism, and we are now in a postmodernist uh, state of uh, called, called communism, where there is no reality. But the thing is, this was brought out by Voltaire a long time ago, and it was actually it was actually brought out by uh, Dostoevsky. Dostoevsky got it right. He saw what was coming with communism. And it wasn't what was defined by Karl Marx. That's why his definition of communism is different than what Karl Marx has. And it's also one of the reasons why they call them idiot, idiots and possessed. Because they're behaving, they're behaving like the possessed pigs in the biblical, uh, in the biblical uh, sense, when the demons were possessing the man, and, and Christ ordered the the uh, demon out of uh, the possessed man, and he, the demon was called legion because it's more than a hundred, more than a hundred demons. So here's a there is a multiple entities. You want to call them ETs, your multi-dimensional entity. These are your aliens here. More than a hundred within the met with one person. And they, they beg not to be destroyed. And Christ was merciful and said, okay, we're not gonna destroy you. And they asked if they could go into a herd of swine, a herd of pigs that were nearby. They did. And of course the pigs all went crazy and, and ran over a cliff and, and ended up destroying themselves. This is sort of, I guess, where the lemming story comes from. And this is this is what Dostoevsky compares uh, the socialists, the communists to. That, that they have lost all sense of humanity. All sense of their, uh, well, basically their their ability to think, they become idiots. And idiots was not a sort of tossed about term, in terms of, oh, that guy's an idiot, you know, in terms of, he doesn't, you know, it's, it's sort of a, a derogatory, it wasn't a derogatory, uh, sort of, I uh, say sort of speak, because it was a derogatory, but it was a medically, it was a medically defined derogatory, where the person was defective, where there wasn't the capacity to think properly. And I think a large chunk of this, this whole eugenic stuff begins way back in the 1800s when they're trying to resolve these particular social issues. This is where your reformers and your and your socialists come out of. And they're coming out of this particular environment and all about social engineering. And the thing is, is that Dostoevsky points out right from the beginning in the 1800s, and so does if we read through Voltaire carefully, they're talking about hedonism. That means no morality, no right, no wrong. You have basically an ambiguous conceptual definition of right and wrong, but that's about it. So right from the beginning of socialism, from within this, the, the uh, bowels of humanism, you can see the root of the problem that occurs today is that finally now, since 1990, since the Clintons, did we have the revolution where you're now in a postmodern world. That's, that's what a large chunk of the 70s, the psychedelic 70s, uh, which was ushered in with uh, psilocybin and, and lysergic acid. Well, that's basically uh, Ron Doss and Timothy Leary. That's what it was about. It was about a conceptual universe, a postmodernist world. And the Democrats of the 90s, basically the Clinton, the Clinton group, represents this, you know, view of postmodern that, that the world is nothing more than a concept, that there is no reality. And so what happens is that now all the, the, the it, would, it would be fine if it simply remained a concept. 
an idea. But once it started being taken into the court system, that was it. The court, the court system was the last bastion of sanity, the last bastion of reality. And when it took the cases in for the call the the, the conceptual universe, the illusion universe, the holographic universe, as uh, Stephen Hawkins put it. That was it. There was no more reality and the court system became ambiguous. It became conceptual. So the reality was gone. And now, with the, this last election with Biden, the, cho the, the choice of Biden, Americans have chosen, even if by the thinnest margins, they've chosen for a conceptual America. There is no real America anymore. The United States is dead. There is no America, there is no USA, there's no Americanism, it's all dead. Nothing more than a concept. And the thing is, the Republicans aren't even going to be able to put up a fight for this because, again, this is the Clinton rope a dope. They can take positions in either way because they have got no morale. They can say, it, the, the Democratic left can say anything they want to say because there's no reality. And that's the end of definitions. That's the end of, oh, you can't say communism. You don't know what you're talking about because you can talk about anything and call it communism. That's the, that's the way it's been from the beginning. Look at the number of counter-revolutions that went on from, from, the, from the French Revolution to the, to the Russian Communist Revolution, uh, also within China. If you look at any of the, the, the so-called socialist countries, there's always about revolution. 